This is just for fun. Yeah. It's just for fun. This is just for fun. Okay, we're going. So you have to promise that you don't stop recording no matter what happens, okay? Got Even it. Even if this goes fantastically wrong. Got it. Uh, so Josh, uh, we're going to try something together using a combination of both mental and physical dexterity. Okay. Okay? Using this deck of playing cards. This is a complete deck, uh, although we are not going to use the jokers, and I know that you're familiar with playing cards because, uh, you know, uh, you know, full disclosure, Josh is my friend, but is also a professional magician, so uh, I'm not going to keep up any pretenses here. Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, we can shuffle this deck and make sure that they're good and mixed. Okay, oops, I'm not very good at shuffling, but let's try that again. Okay, just because the shuffle didn't go so well. Okay, there's no way to fake that, right? You can you can get a close up, or you can lean in on that, and you can see the cards really, really dispersing together, okay? So let's try this. I'll spread these out uh, and uh, I'll face away. And I want you to draw out some card from inside without looking at it. You can just draw it towards you, okay? okay? After you've done that, while my back is still turned, you can square up the, get the deck again so that I can't tell where it came from. Does that sound okay. fair? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll turn away while you do that. Okay. All right. Now, would you please take a peek at that card so that you'll know what it is? Okay. So you see it again. Okay. Now, at this point, I have to ask you, is there any chance at all that you could possibly forget that card or you can keep it in your mind for the next couple of minutes? Is I'll remember correct? it. Mm -hmm. You'll remember it. Okay. If you think it's marked or something, you can put your hand over it so that I can't see it or whatever. Okay. But uh, let's just do this. Uh, just to be fair, we'll uh, shuffle the deck again. Okay. And that way, there's just uh, no way to know where it came from, okay? Give it a few cuts as well, all right? So you now know what the card is, right? Yes. All right, so please put the card right there, face down, okay? okay. And you still haven't put it out in this, all right? Correct. So it is somewhere lost in the deck. Now, I happen to know maybe approximately where it is, right? Because we did put it, uh, put it back into about the middle, okay? So let's just try to, like, maybe just reposition it a little bit like that, all right? And I need you to confirm for me that your card is neither the top card or anywhere near the top. Okay. Okay. Is that mm -hmm. the case? Yes. Okay. And we can do the same thing for the bottom, all right? Make sure that the card is not on the bottom or anywhere near the bottom. Correct. Okay. Does that seem mm -hmm. okay? Yep. All right. So we'll give these one more good shuffle just to, uh, just for good measure, let's say. Okay. okay. All right. So, uh, in any case, uh, this is the part that involves dexterity, okay? Have you ever heard those uh, professional gamblers that uh, they practice uh, their card handling skills so they can do things like cut off specific numbers of cards at will uh, as a way of controlling cards to their advantage, all right? Okay. So, for example, let's suppose that I wanted to cut off, and I'm not very good at this, okay? Uh, but if I wanted to cut off exactly 10 cards, I might do something like this. Let's see how I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I got one more of that 11, but that was pretty close, right? Mm -hmm. This does not happen to be your card, does it? No. Okay. All right, so, uh, but I did get pretty close, right? And I said I'm not very good at this, but just for future reference, this is what exactly ten cards looks like. Okay. Okay, so you look at it from this side, all right? Now that you've seen 10 cards, uh, hand me 15. Think that's 15? I think it's close. It could be close. You might be good at this. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, well, it was one heavy. It felt a little heavy. This is not your card by any chance, is it? No. Okay, good. All right. So uh, uh, let's try one that uh, a, a lot of people think uh, is uh, very, very difficult. It, I have to admit it is an important thing to be able to do as a gambler, but it's not as hard as most people make it out to be. It is to cut exactly half of the deck. Okay, okay, exactly half. Now, if you think about it, there are 52 cards here, so exactly half makes 26. It's not that hard. All you have to do is sort of look at the side, 
uh, decide where you think about the midpoint is, and then just lift off that many cards, and you can place them where you like any place. Okay, let's try that. It's not as hard as it sounds, and you can practice this at home. All right, is this 26 cards? Well, we'll find out. It feels good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Very close. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Okay, and just for future reference, uh, uh, this is what twenty-six cards looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, what if I told you that, uh, I, you know, you've already seen that I'm not very good at the physical aspect of this, but I'm fairly good at the mental aspect of this. What if I told you that I could cut directly to your card without ever touching the deck? Would you find that interesting? Yes. Okay, let me try. No. Yeah. Tw uh, 21. I didn't touch the deck, did I? 21. No. Okay. Please pick up the deck, uh, keep it face down in your hand, go ahead and take it. I don't want to touch the cards. And one at a time, what did I say, 21? Mm -hmm. Please deal face down to the 21st card into a pile right here. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That is card number twenty-one. Yes. Yes. I have not touched it. All right. Right. Can you hold it between your thumb and forefinger of your right hand, keeping it face down? And you could set the rest of the cards aside. They can be anywhere. Okay. Now you thought of a card. You just thought of a card, and uh, uh, I. I can't have any idea what that card was. Uh, I was faced away when you selected it. Uh, the cards have been shuffled multiple times and uh, various things have transpired. But I asked you at the beginning if there was any chance whatsoever that you could forget the card that you originally thought of. And I'm assuming that you have not, right? Right. Right, this is, uh, you're thinking of the card now? Yes. Okay. You don't have to confirm or deny anything, but for some reason, I'm getting a black card. It could be a number card or a picture card, but I'm getting a stronger feeling that it is a number. At that, I could be way wrong, an even number. I sure hope I'm not wrong. Can you tell me, for the very first time, what was the card that you merely thought of? The Four of Spades. The Four of Spades. So I got a lot right there, right? But there's uh, one more thing to get right still. Turn it over.